20 years ago, if you'd drawn me a blueprint for this racing operation that I've got now, I thought, man, that's a, the world's uh, most exotic science fiction. There's no way any of that will ever happen, and, and here it all is. Top Mule driver Eddie Hill seems to have a gift for understatement, along with a gift for speed. Eddie, of course, was the first person ever to break the five-second barrier. He ran a 499 in April of 88 at the Texas Motorplex, a day to remember. It was such a tremendous moment for us that uh, it just seemed like all the dues we had paid all our life and all the racing, it was all of a sudden paid back. Hey, Jess, Jess, get it. Eddie's skills have paid off with interest. After all, he's been racing for more than 40 years since his first motor scooter event at the age of 11. Today, he and his wife, Ursi, are tops on the top fuel circuit, the center of attention from fans young and old. Eddie Hill's wonderful. I think he's the best. He tries very hard and he's dedicated to the sport. Best drivers of all time. It's awesome. The fans aren't the only ones keeping an eye on Eddie and his awesome machine. Big Daddy Don Garlitz has been watching the record-setting car, too. wants it in his museum, but uh, the car, uh, every time we get to Gainesville, it seems like it steps up and runs better. I don't know if it's afraid of the museum or whatever, but uh, Don's going to have to wait a while for the car. The bright yellow car has put plenty of pages in the record books, such as a 480 at the 1992 Gator National. And the 477 at the 1992 Winston Final. in the four second bracket. I think we've got 82 runs in the fours now, uh, including that first one, you know. And uh, it's just a dynamite. Eddie's had lots of explosive moments. In 1989, he survived the NHRA Winter Nationals most spectacular crash. Even earlier, Eddie raced drag boats and still holds the world water speed record of 229 miles per hour set in 1982. But a 1984 drag boat accident left him with seven broken bones, a concussion, and other injuries. The uh, good news is we got enough points on that uh, particular run. We won that run uh, against Billy Todd. They gave us enough points to win the world championship again. Uh, the bad news is, of course, that was the last ride I ever took. Uh, the other good news is I lived through it. Today, Eddie sticks to land racing. It's a big business. Running a top fuel dragster can be a million dollar operation. Eddie has a big time sponsor in Pennzoil, but he still watches every dollar. We operate on about, uh, about half the money, sometimes as little as 20% of the money of some of the other competitive teams. And so we try to make our parts live absolutely as long as possible. And uh, if it ain't broke, we don't fix it. Eddie and his crew keep his car in top condition. Eddie says a good crew is like family and crew chief Fuzzy Carter agrees. He's took me under, under his wing since I was a kid, you know. I was real young when I went to work for Eddie, and, uh, and he's been uh, kind of like a dad to me, uh, and uh, teach, you know, teaches me a lot about mechanics, and uh, he's an engineer, and he, he really, he's a real smart guy, and he's really shared that information with me, and he, he's real good to work with. Eddie's wife, Ursi, plays a big role in their success, too. I also mix the fuel, prepare the spark plugs. I'm the travel agent, the nurse, the clerical, the mom, you name it. Pomona's Winter Nationals are a regular stop for Eddie and Ursi. Huge crowds pack the stands. There's plenty to see. And Eddie's loving every second of it. I love drag racing just because of the ride, just getting in the car and that, that rush of uh, adrenaline you get from the G-force. I'm probably uh, probably one of the worst G-freaks, if you want to call that, on the surface of the planet. I just love G's. The 
the crowd loves it too. After more than four decades of racing and record setting, Eddie still has his eye on a world championship. He's 57, but age is just a number. After all, Eddie's a firm believer in the old saying, you only go around once in life. But as he likes to point out, if you do it right, maybe once is enough. 